everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the Sony PlayStation 3 and one more sheep yet again and today we are playing as a Heartless? Ha! Huh. I wonder who this Heartless could possibly be. Be? Be? Hmm. Yeah, as you can tell last part we, well, we basically disappeared out of existence for reasons. So now we're playing as this little Heartless which means we need to backtrack all the way back to the start of the castle. and. I don't know, you don't really get any combat or anything when you're heartless form, it's just literally a short platforming puzzle that involves you going... Look, it involves you just keep jumping down until you get to the point where the game initiates a cutscene. So yeah, just keep jumping off the edge or going through each of these rooms until you reach the main point you meant to. So yeah, if you go into the lift stop, you can't use any lifts because obviously you're heartless. You, you're a you don't know how to use lifts. Gosh! Although I, I'd like to think that I'm, I, I warrant to be a bit stronger than being just a basic shadow. I would, I'd like to think that I'm a bit stronger so I get a better heartless and a shadow when I turn into one. Ugh. I digress. Anyway, so move on into the entrance hall. We're going to reunite with Kyrie, Donald, and Goofy. Yeah, go ahead, Donald. We'll see if Donald can take care of him. So basically, just jump down by Donald and we'll see what occurs, shall we? Hey guys, what's up? I'll protect you. Sora! Irie! Kyrie, thank you. I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go! The Heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on, honestly, is anyone surprised? You'd really think they'd kill off the main character of the series. Do you really? Come on. <laughs> of course we wouldn't. That'd be silly. It'd be a nice twist, but it'd be silly. Tell me what happened. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is... Seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. After all, you're the main character. <laughs> but yeah, now we basically need to try and find a way to get back to Hollow Bastion because 
what you want to know is that Hollow Bastion is actually locked away now after this, and because of our first visit to Hollow Bastion, basically everywhere in the world, the Heartless have become a lot stronger. No matter what world you go to now, the Heartless will become exceptionally powerful, and you can even... Well, well, you, you can even, I think it's around the point where the super bosses actually unlock. You can actually fight the super bosses from this point on. I wouldn't recommend it at this level, but uh, there you go. It's the options there if you really want to do so. But anyway, as you can see, you've got really powerful heartlesses starting to spawn in in this place. So let's just ignore them completely, as any sane person would, and head on up to meet Sid. Or are we gonna? Well, I don't know if we're gonna actually meet Sid yet. We're, no, we're not. We're going to the accessory shop first because I just remembered we have a summon gem. So we just go to Merlin and uh, give him his summon gem. Or do we go to Sid before giving Merlin his summon gem? I don't remember, actually. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been months since I recorded this, folks. Okay, yeah, we're going to, we're going to see Merlin first. All right, these. Just, just so I know. Just to check. But anyway, now we're in the world map, like I said, Hollow Bastion is closed off, if you can see by here, we can't actually go to it at all, it's just sort of there. Bit annoying, I know, but hey, don't worry, we'll reopening it, opening, we'll reopen it soon. Of course, the initial pathway we took to get to Hollow Bastion, we can never take that initial path again, because that's now gone. The pathway is just flat out closed, so how are we going to get in there? Well, we're going to be using it. We'll be utilizing a back passage once we get hold of Sid and, you know, work on getting a brand new warp gummy, are they called? Yeah, warp gummy. I think that's the name from. Or is it navig navigation? I can't remember. It's something gummy. Anyway, when you get all your uh, magic spells together, you can actually go to Merlin by here and pick up the Spellbinder, which is a fantastic keyblade that boosts your magic power. Although at the point of the game we're currently in, it's a complete waste of time, and honestly I wouldn't bother with it. Especially considering we're going to get one of my favourite Keyblades pretty so shortly in this part. Anyway, let's just get the Summon Gem off uh, the Fairy Godmother. And this is actually one of my favourite Summon Gems. Not very useful, but I just love the animation of plays when you first unlock it. This, folks, is Mushu. And of course, that I think that's pretty much all the Summon Gems in the game now, I think. Yeah, I think it is. So let's just go to the cavern, show off Mushu, and I think this is the first time I've shown off the cavern in this game. So basically, you can talk to Merlin and activate a small cheering sequence, which will have his furniture flying about. And I guess you could use it as target practice with your magic spell. So, come on Mushu, it's time to come out. Seriously, I love this little animation that plays with Mushu, it's just amazing. Because I do need to change my Keyblade pretty soon, because I'm... As much as I love Olympia, I'm not a big fan of the design of Olympia. I think, I think, I don't know, it's just too bulky, I feel. But of course, Mushu's uh, big thing is he shoots fire blasts at people. Hold down the triangle button and you shoot out a steady stream of fire. And uh, keep tapping it and, well, you'll see me doing the exact same thing I'm doing right now, which is just, see ya, see ya, see ya, which is annoying. So yeah, just hold down the triangle button and Mushu will just keep shooting fireballs, even though in the cartoonies and you can't actually shoot fire, but that's beside the point. Ugh. Anyways, let's go back and now we need to go to, um, see Sid? Yeah, that's right, we need to go and see Sid, because we, obviously we don't know about, we need a way to get back to Hollow Bastion, you see? And even though you guys know and I know how we do it, Sora and Donald and Goofy don't know how to do it, do they? Mm. Gotta follow the video game rules, see? You can't just sort of skip ahead and... I don't know what to... I forgot the term. You know, the term when you skip areas in games. Well, sequence break! That's it, sequence break. That's the one. We can't really sequence break this. It's a bit of a shame because I, you know, I know where to go and everything, but... Unfortunately, the game runs on a set thing, so you need to go a set way. Actually, is, is there any way to sequence break this through most of this game anyway? Like, I know games like Metroid, the entire games for speedruns and stuff are built around sequence breaking because those games are so breakable, but I don't know. Anyway, go to Sid by here and let me go back to Hall Bastion. I don't, I don't think I can let you do that, kid. How does that much blame by the minute to eat your ship up? Don't know what. That's Okay, that's going to be Sid's voice, I guess. But yeah, like he said, he's going to give us a new navigation gummy and take a separate route in. 
Why why Sid hid this navigation gummy in a secret waterway though is absolutely beyond me because Why? <laughs> Considering why would you hide the gummy? Just keep it in a storage shed so we don't need to go platforming. Uh, either way, at least this gives us a chance to get a brand new keyblade, so I guess I can't complain too much. Anyway, as you can see, we've got Ragnarok available to us, so what I'm going to do is actually get rid of Strike Rate and replace it with Ragnarok, which is one of my favorites, favoritest. Is that a term? Favorite, favoritest? Yeah, one of my favoritest. Limit Breaks, because it literally just involves you doing a giant combo and then finishing the combo off with massive, with a massive, oh god, a massive engulfment of laser beams. Laser. <laughs> Seriously, laser beams are amazing. I love lasers in my games. So yeah, this is what happens. Boom. When the, when you see the giant ball reach full, full power, it'll have a tiny little shockwave effect. When the shockwave effect pops up on the ball, press the triangle button again, you shoot out the laser beams and... They will basically just surround and attack everybody on screen. It's just, it looks amazing. It's a fantastic move. One of my favorites. Anyway, let's go up. Hey, Kyrie's here. Let's, uh, let's have a chat, shall we? Hint, go to that mural. Hint. <laughs> That's all she's basically saying. So just run up to this mural. And I don't know what gets the mural to give you this gem by not gem this summon navigational gummy that's one I don't understand what gives what makes the mural give you that gummy by here because beforehand there's no other way to initiate that in previously in the game so oh, I don't understand it uh, no matter no matter should rest up and get ready for the pretty much the finale of the game we're on the last stretch folks believe it or not a light at the end of the tunnel oh your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. Now, it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... When I turned into a heartless... You saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was, the darkness almost swallowed me. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That's it! Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go. You can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kairi, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore, right? I can't help? You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry. I will. Promise? Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. How touching. And now we got the Oath Keeper, folks, and uh, oh boy, I love the Oath Keeper. It's a very nice design keyblade, and it, it, it just, it's just pretty good. It's not as good as uh, one of the keyblades we're about to get soon, though.
It really bugs me how those cutscenes from the final mix version of this game are dubbed in English. It really annoys me. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, when it, the PS3 version fixes that issue, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it does, so yeah. But oh, it annoys me. Voice act your cutscenes, god damn it. Don't leave just nothing. Ugh. Frustrating, frustrating. Anyway, Trinity Mark by here if you want to get it. I'm not really going for the Trinity Marks in this game, I don't think, so it doesn't really matter to me, but hey, it's here if you want it, and it gives you an Oracalcum, which is a very... I don't know how well used it is in this game, but I know it's a version of Oracalcum in Kingdom Hearts 2 that's required to get the ultimate weapon in that game. I don't know if it's required for the ultimate weapon in this game, but uh, uh, I don't know, that's beside the point. Anyway, with that folks, that is the end of this part, so thank you all for watching, don't be sheepish people, hope you all enjoyed, and when we return next time, we'll be taking on Hollow Bastion again, and closing up the keyhole of that world for good. So thank you all for watching, don't be sheepish people, I'll catch you all next time. Bye!